Hello guys, welcome to another video. I'm gonna talk about a topic that we've previously covered before, which is about the four-step sketch in a design sprint. I'm gonna talk to you about remote design sprints, similar to some of our other recent topics, but I'm going to um, refer you back to the previous video that we did about solution sketching, which I'll drop a link down below in the description. If you haven't seen that, maybe go through it first because it'll give you a lot of understanding on what I'm doing here. Um, but once you've done that, make sure you come back and I'm gonna talk to you about how to do it in a remote design sprint setting. I really appreciate as well if you can give us a subscribe, a love, a like, and share this amongst your peers as well. All right, guys, um, let's get on to it. All right, so as you know, there are four parts to sketching in a remote design sprint or in a design sprint a solution sketching exercise. The first one is note taking. The second one is idea writing. The third one is crazy aids. And the last one, which is where you wanna get into is the solutions sketching itself, or some people call it the three-step solution. Um, in here, I'm gonna talk about number one, the note taking. And the purpose of doing this is because I don't want to be going back to my mural all the time um, as I'm developing my idea or my solutions down the track in this exercise. So the important things that I want to note are the goal itself. And um, if you haven't seen the videos that we created in the last few episodes around the remote design sprint, this the stuff that you see here are actually based on that. So the goal was in two years time, uh, this digital platform will be the go-to channel for creatives in Asia, Europe, North America, and so on and so forth. I wanna make sure that I write down my questions as well. Um, so I remember what the th what are the things that um, that I need to keep in mind as I'm designing this. Can we integrate with other popular third-party platforms that will give me ideas about Apple Pay, PayPal, or any other integration softwares that uh, I'd like to consider in my design? Um, can we launch with an MVP enough to test the market that gives me an idea about focus? Uh, can we focus on only one to two unique selling propositions for us to go to the market? So those are really good questions that I want to make sure that I keep in mind um, as I'm developing my ideas here. Uh, I decided to note down my user journey focus as well. Uh, so not the whole user journey map, but just the focus. Um, again, if you haven't seen the our video about user journey map and how we got here go and have a look at um, a few episodes down um, i've also decided to sketch out some of our lightning demo stuff here that gives us an idea of some of the things that i want to achieve like simplified mobile dashboard or familiar product management interface easy to read progress status uh, and the examples that we got from other brands or websites or apps um, so in general normally you would come up with multiple pages, not just the one, but this is just an example for you to understand what note taking is all about and the important things that you wanna take notes on during this activity. In a remote design sprint or a design sprint in general, I'd probably allow for up to half an hour, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, depending on how much artifacts you have, uh, but allow your participants or team members to explore the artifacts and write down or take notes on ideas that they may have may have saw in the last few days or last few exercises. So that's note taking for you. Alrighty, now the second part of solution sketching or the four step sketch in a design sprint is idea writing. In an idea writing environment, um, this is where you go away and start developing ideas only as raw sketches only. Um, you don't need to come up with beautiful designs or clear um, wireframes at this point. But some of the things that I've done here myself is um, I've decided to do some promo tiles. Um, I've written notes about some of the things that I want to focus on. Lead with the latest unique selling proposition. Uh, started drawing some components or uh, it's almost like a library for me to try and refer back to as I'm storyboarding later on. Um, so it's just simple notes that allows me to further develop my idea. The difference between this and uh, note-taking, which was the first part then, was note-taking was you recording simply without thinking, uh, just copying the stuff that appeals to you as you go through your artifacts. Um, that's why you're just copying the goal, copying, copying the questions, copying user journey focus and stuff like that. Whereas here, you're already away out of the mural 
or your whiteboard or your workshop room and you're just trying to write down ideas that pops out to you yourself. So yeah, some of the things that comes up here are probably UI ideas, sections, um, elements and stuff like that. All right, um, so that's idea writing. I would probably spend a good, you know, another 20 minutes to half an hour to do this. Um, and again, in this example here, I've only got one page, but in general, and technically when you're in a design sprint, team members would come up with multiple pages of this, of ideas. Okay, now the third part of the four step sketch is crazy aids. Uh, we've done also a video about crazy aids. I'll make sure we share a link with you down in the description below. Uh, go and have a look at that. That's where I explain about the crazy aids in a lot more comprehensive way. And here I'm just going to show you an example where we have, okay, the crazy eight sheet. There's eight sections, eight segments. There's one, two, three, and so on and so forth. But you get it. There's four sections and I want to spend a minute in each section. Um, what we're doing here is really letting your ideas flow, letting your minds work and your hands work really without having to think too much. So based on the notes that you've taken and the ideas that you've started written in the, in the previous exercise, now I want to start creating my own layout on certain segments or certain interfaces. So I might want to focus on the dashboard here for my product. So I'll write dashboard and I'll just start dashboard and I'll start sketching. Uh, so the way to do this is you put your timer on for 60, 60 seconds and then you just start sketching. Whatever, for, whatever comes out in your mind first, just do it. The point here is to not overthink guys. Um, you'll just need to sketch and start thinking about some ideas that might appeal to you and um, you, so you don't jump into this exercise straight away. You'll have to go through the note taking and the idea writing, and it will make it a lot easier for you to develop further um, ideas in here. So very lo-fi type of sketches. Focus on just layout and composition, not so much about, not too much about the content. And that's one, as soon as, you know, the 60 seconds is up, you'd move into the next frame again just redeveloping that idea further of the dashboard all of this eight segments are all about the dashboard uh, not anything else so just focus on the one page i might have a different idea that looks kind of like that maybe lead with this carousel type of interface uh, maybe there's that pagination i'll keep the bar in there and maybe a couple of product promo tiles in there. So I'm just thinking as I'm doing it, 60 seconds up, you move into the next one. Again, the dashboard, a third version that just pops up in my mind. Sometimes you can't think as you're going through this. So my, I, my suggestion is to just keep your hands moving without having to worry too much because this is not your final design guys this is just for your brain and your subconscious to work your subconscious is a powerful thing trust me so you've got so what i'm doing here is pretending like my mind is blocked and i'm not even thinking about what is it exactly that i'm doing don't think it's pointless because oftentimes in our exercise in the fifth block or the sixth block or sometimes in the seventh block you'll come up with something that you reflect back on and you go oh wow that's that actually sparks an idea in me all right guys that's it um so imagine eight minutes is up uh why eight minutes because we spent a minute on each block and this is all about the dashboard variations or layouts that i'm trying to think or just different shapes really abstract shapes oftentimes uh that i'm thinking and um, later on, I'll be able to refer back to this and help me improve my ideas as I'm doing my solution sketches, which is a much more detailed version of it. Okay, so um, typically in a design sprint, we would do one, two, and three versions of, not versions, but sets. So set number one was a dashboard for me. Set number two might be a product page. And set number three might be, I don't know, like an orders page or something. But 
what I encourage people to do is to focus on just three interfaces and that's it. So pick three interfaces that are like your key interfaces and don't worry about everything else. Uh, just focus on that and do, you know, three crazy eight sets based on those. All right. Now let's get on to all right, now the last step is what we call the three-step solution or the solution sketch. So typically you wanna come up with three steps, um, which was the three sets that you did during your crazy eight. So I mentioned, let's say there was a dashboard, a product page, and an orders page. In this exercise, I've only done one, which was the dashboard. Um, so here's an idea of what a solution sketch might look like. So this was number one. Oops, um, let's go like that. This is number one, the dashboard. So I've previously drawn this to not um, waste our time here, but the dashboard um, was an idea that I developed further with clearer sketch. As you can see, um, you've got, I've even written certain things here, brand logos, personalized dynamic notifications. So I've even tried to explain it because the idea with, um, with a, solution sketch is for it to be self-explanatory more than anything. Remember in a design sprint, there's a process called the art museum, which is the part where you pin your ideas up and then people will vote on it without having you present or explain it. So clarity is important. Being readable is important. Being self-explanatory, it's important. That's why I've done highlights. Like there are certain things that I try to highlight in here, uh, categories, new, your store snapshot, um, and the things that I'm highlighting here are oftentimes my big idea. Uh, in this case, my big idea for the dashboard is intuitive user dashboard. It's easy to access uh, the essentials, personalized and customize customizable based on preference, single click to all key features. So all of this are key ideas that I wanted to uh, explain without having to me present it at an art museum session. Um, so that's an idea of the dashboard. I'm going to, if you realize I'm just using my iPad here, um, but by all means, anyone who's participating can just use a pen and paper, take a photo of it, upload it to the mural, uh, and I'll show you an example of how this would be uploaded to the mural. So no matter if this, this is a digital paper or a real paper that you take a photo or a scan, what I would do is download this as an image or upload your photo into a mural. So let's jump into the mural real quick and I'll show you how to do it. All right, guys, now we're in the mural. We're back in the mural. Um, I've imported that um, big idea, the first big idea that I had for the dashboard up here. Uh, and generally, oops, and generally you'll have three of them and that's why it's called the three-step solution. Uh, let's say the dashboard, oh, well, I'm just gonna pretend like I've got three of these type of sketches on different interfaces um, and three of them and I would stack them up like this uh, just so we don't get confused I'll just call this one dashboard and I'll just do another one down here I'm going to remember guys I'm just pretending okay so take it easy on me number two um, product page Number three, uh, what did I say? Order, order page. And those are my three step solutions that if I do this properly, it will give anyone who sees it or read them um, an idea of what is it exactly that I'm trying to, um, trying to achieve and the big ideas that I'm trying to propose here. And in a team environment, obviously, you'll have more than one big, sorry, more than one set of solutions you'll have two three so each person will have their own solution sketches and if let's say if you have five team members and then there's one um, there's one facilitator and four participants then the four participants will come up with uh, with solution sketches that means you'll end up with four sets of solution sketches and that's what leads us to a voting session on which solution is the winning solution but oh, we're not gonna get there. Um, if you wanted to find out more about how to vote for the best idea, we've also got a video for it and I'll make sure that we link that down below for you to have a look. Uh, but essentially, 
these are your solution sketches. And um, this is how you would do it in a remote design sprint. See how pretty that looks. All right, guys, um, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one.